I had a package ordered from GameStop that arrived today, and this is how the package arrived. Totally crunched in. Let's, wow. All right, let's go into it and see what we got. Right, let's open up this mangled box from GameStop and see what we got. It's an unboxing! Right, snip, snip, snip. Wow, this would probably just be easier just to do this. Well, I thought it would be. Okay, I have cut the tape. Let's see if the stuff survived. Ah. Now, it probably wasn't GameStop's fault. It was probably the postal service. It probably just got crammed in the back of a truck. Well, let's see. This one is, of course... Now, of course, that is not the price. I got this for $7, $6 online. Everything at GameStop was on sale. I did not pay full price for a single figure. It was kind of a clearance sale. So, I got a uh, credit collection Tuscan Raider. My set's falling down. Another mangled box, but it's okay. They're going to be opened up. Yep, it's a Riot Scout Trooper. It is another Riot Scout Trooper. In case you didn't know, I love uh, TIE Fighter pilots, and I love Scout Troopers. So, I also got... Another <laughs> Riot Scout Trooper. Not for that price. Then, these guys were also on sale. So I got two of them. Those were also like $6 or $7. No figure was over $7 that I bought. Two of those. Pretty good unboxing. Legalese. Alrighty. I do believe my entire order came to about $56. So uh, that is definitely under 10 bucks a figure, but that also includes the tax and the shipping. So uh, yeah, quite happy with this GameStop haul. So uh, check out GameStop.com if you want to. Uh, I'm not sure if they still have the deal going on, but you never know. Hey, jump online, order some figures. They'll come in a messed up box. Great-looking droid. Loved Alan Tudyk as this droid as well in Rogue One. But uh, it's good to have extra droids as uh, troop builders. Fantastic. One of the problems with the KX security droids is they're very top-heavy, but they're a fantastic figure. All right, it's after work. Heading into my local Walmart. Uh, for a toy hunt, and yes, that is me in the thumbnail uh, from my old vaudeville theater. That is a clip from uh, the world famous dancing trench coats. Let's see, they got lots of pallets of toys out. They got some turtle uh, mutant mayhem, lots of turtle stuff coming in, it looks like. And of course, big turtle display, more stuff. Risk, great game. All right, we've got our Transformers action. We've got the movie Starscream. I used to be into uh, Transformers, of course, when I was younger, and Starscream was a great character. That might be a pickup one day just to have him sitting on a shelf. Got some dino action down here. A headless Scarlet Spider. I don't understand the trend of uh, stealing heads. Got the mini X-Men. 
Looks like there's a restock of uh, Master Verse. Darkest Night. Lots of Darkest Night. Looks like it's mostly all Darkest Night. Lots of the Vampire Superman. Some Captain Atoms. Some Blue Beetle stuff uh, going on. We got some Deathstroke up here. We got the Superpowers. Flash down here. Got a Keaton looking Batmobile. Batman stuff on the lower shelf. Batwing missing a cockpit. Mission Fleet. Micro Galaxy Squadron. Wave 1, of course. More Micro Galaxy Squadron Wave 1. Dungeons and Dragons. Eventually, hopefully, one day they'll go on clearance. Then I might pick them up. I'm so honestly surprised that those haven't hit clearance, because every Walmart I've been to has a ton of those. And I wouldn't mind a few more of those just to get the extra stormtroopers. Good to see some adats. And up here, let's see, we got Boba Fett's, which are too expensive. Got Emperor Lando. Pretty much the standard stuff that we see all the time. All right, looking up on the top shelf, anything fun? Moving on. They do have the, uh, of course, scrap iron and still three snake eyes and timbers. They do have the pegs for uh, Crimson Guard, but no Crimson Guards. And that is not a G.I. Joe. We'll go ahead and put those back where they belong, over here. Alright, oh, we do have a NECA. We have a shredder down here. Odd. Alright, well, let's uh, go ahead and look around. Our video game section over here, Fortnite, Mario Brothers, Zelda, Sonic, Among Us, Minecraft. Good looking stuff. We got Poppy, we got uh, Pokemon, we got the cards, we got some stuffies. All right, we got Groot up there, we got Ghost Rider, Cats America, Ant Man, we got Minecraft Legos, Ninjago, uh, some Super Mario World up there. Oh, that looks like the minecart from a uh, Donkey Kong Country. Nice. We got the city sets, almost down to the Star Wars section. Let's see what we got. We got Boba Fett down there. We got a nice little set there that comes with a lot of clones. Boba Fett and Slave One in a mini. <laughs> I'd say that is actually kind of cute. And he actually fits in there. That's kind of actually really cool. Oh, TIE Interceptor, beautiful. TIE Bomber. Is that actually the price on the TIE Bomber? Keep an eye on that. $52 for the TIE Bomber? That doesn't seem outrageous. Whereas the TIE Interceptor is $100. Bucks. Ouch. Alright, let's keep looking. Got the Luke's X-Wing for $40. Moving over here. Got a $34 set. Got some helmets on slight clearance got uh, Yoda's starfighter there so we got the big daddy sets up there that one seems to be uh, going on price a little bit for still a bit much for some Legos all right well I was going to jump into the uh, die cast section but uh, a lot of people were in that aisle so I decided to uh, go check out clearance all righty let's see we got a three dollar Reva figure I don't even know if I have her or not. I'll look when I get home, and if I don't, next time I'm here, three bucks, yeah, I'll pick her up. Lots of Black Panther stuff. Got the weird helmet things for five. Gujitsus. Um, gun holsters. <laughs> Avatar for seven. Got the Rotan now at nine dollars. That's pretty cool. That just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. Ironheart uh, sets. 
pool stuff, a Batmobile. Do you have the Razor Crest? Over here, let's see. Got a Nerf thing, a Nerf scooter. $25 Buzz Lightyear Imaginex, Imaginex Bat Cave for $39. Uh, some nice stuff, but uh, nothing I need today. Huh. Everyone used to be obsessed with Turbo Man. I never got into that hype. It's another day. It's a toy hunt here in East Tennessee at the Newport Walmart. Let's go in. Section Newport Walmart, a $75 a Lego Infinity Saga set. Got Aquaman up there for $18. Got some Bakugan. Oh, they got $8. Uh, that one right there, $8 Ned B. Another $18. This one doesn't seem to have as good a deal as that's our uh, local trash Walmart in Sevierville. But uh, let's keep a looking and see what they got. They got some Black Panther stuff. Some more Lego down there for $31. Lego City sets. All right, they got the Rotons down here. They are 13. They're now nine at the Sevierville Walmart. All right, let's keep looking. Surprised that uh, the Newport uh, Walmart clearance section is worse than uh, the Sevierville Walmart one. I'm shocked. Well-stocked Transformer section over here in the Newport Walmart. A lot of Transformers. I'd say that is a really cute looking Donatello. I don't have many turtles, or any turtles for that matter, but I'd say I want to see that new movie. I do enjoy a turtle movie. Lots of good turtle action. Big Adventure Force uh, dinosaur down there. Bigger turtles, classic turtles. Let's see here. Oh, I got the Marvel Legends hidden down there, and oh, the new Spider Man. Got the, the awesome Jessica Drew Spider-Woman, uh, Miles, Ben Riley, Ben Riley, Ben Riley. Ooh, and the rose in the back. Nice. Pick up what I dropped, because I'm nice like that. And let's see, we got Crossfire, Crossfire, Ant-Man, Egghead, Wonder Man, Crossfire. A zombie Scarlet Witch. All right. Well, they actually have some stuff. Interesting. All right, let's keep a looking. Maybe they'll have some Joes or something fun. Well, that doesn't bode well when you see a movie line Baroness. Over here, not much in DC World, that's for sure. Let's flip around. Over here, they do actually have the uh, scrap iron. They still have some of the snake eyes and timbers. Got Moss Man lurking down there. Over here, we got uh, Gung Ho, Lady J, Lady J, Gung Ho, Gung Ho, Lady J. They have the sign for the Crimson Guard, but no Crimson Guard. They have two signs for Crimson Guards, but zero Crimson Guards. Either I just don't think they've come in yet. All right, let's keep looking. I got our Fortnite, got our video games. Shark. We have our At At Walker. Over here we got wrestling, we got Mandy Rose, got Queen uh, Zelina. They got Luke and Grogu. That's a ridiculous price. Oh, that's a deluxe set. No, that's a figure and a half, if that. They do have Cal Kestis, which I picked up. I did the last time I was here. Other than that, Old Wave. What we got over here? Nice stuff. Nothing really new and exciting that I'm looking for. Do kind of want to get that. I'll scan that on my app and see what the price is on the extra snow speeder. Looking around. Let's see, is this... Only Series 1. Boo. Alright.
right. Got our Lego section. Nice looking Ninjago set up there, but not for 160 bucks. Ouch. I mean, I love Legos, but they are so expensive. Let's see if we can find the Star Wars section of Legos, because I noticed that there are going on some clearances at some Walmarts. I bet that one that I saw at my local one for 52 is probably the sale price because I'm not even seeing it over at this Walmart. So uh, I might actually have to pick up a Lego set up my trash Walmart. All right, for all you die-cast collectors out there, we're over in the Hot Wheels section. Not really my thing, but it is fun to look at. Very nice uh, looking vehicles. I loved them when I was a kid. And hey, if you're a collector, hey, whatever you collect, if it brings you joy, collect away. Over here in the Matchbox now, and we got like the more generic uh, Adventure Force vehicles. Little play sets, got the monster trucks. If I've passed anything that's super cool that I should have picked up, hey, let me know in the comments. Donkey Kong, pretty cool. Alright, now we got our Hot Wheels Skate and our Tech Deck. And let's see, we got uh, Boba Fett's uh, Station Wagon. <laughs> And Luke's van. <laughs> You'll live in a van down by the river. That's pretty cool. And they do have uh, these Star Wars vehicles. That might be a good one just to add in to uh, the snow speeder because it's about the same size. Well, the Hot Wheels one is a little bit smaller than the Micro Galaxy Squadron. One just a little bit. It might look good on a shelf, as like slightly in the further background, but uh, yeah, not quite the same size. Come up on the Newport Walmart's uh, collector spot. Lots of Funkos, none of the ones I'm looking for. Funko pin, R2, it's a whole stack of R2. I got Bo-Katan up there, not really into those giant pins, but I do like droids, so you never can tell. Foot Clan set, actually a Gargoyles, uh, the Mummy, Casey Jones, and April. Alright, well, at least they actually have a collector spot. Hey, uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment, really helps the channel out. Um, I'm at work, uh, so that, that concludes this toy hunt. But uh, yeah, leave a comment, really helps the uh, algorithm really helps the show grow and uh, we're trying to get 1,000 subscribers this season and uh, hey in the in the description there'll be a link to the world famous dancing trench coats so we'll see you on the next east tennessee toy hunt